You motherfucker too. How are you? It's your boy. DNA. 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 Uh -huh. How y'all feeling, man? Y'all know we got another reaction today. But before we jump right into it, um, yeah, it's still happy you happy, I, that bitch said happy you New Year's. Ha what the fuck? Happy New Year's, man. Uh um, y'all want thirty dollars, man? Two two thousand twenty-three, man. I got thirty for you. I ain't got twenty-three dollars for you. I got thirty dollars for you. Hit that first link in the description, man. You know what I mean? I'm putting all y'all on some free sauce, you know what I mean? I've been making hundreds a day from this sh you know what I mean? Fuck that. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, let's jump right into it, man. We got reaction, man. Craziest shoes in NBA history, man. Let's get it. Ah, uh, my bad. I ain't mean to uh, do all that. It's money. It was. You know what I mean, from the most expensive <laughs> hey. shoes in NBA Shit. history to I want a some pair of them sneakers. Man, the big ass bitches. Them. Huh? That's the shoe phone. Call on. Oh, yo, it worked for real, man. These are the craziest. Bro, I can make a shoe phone. All I gotta do, grab this, grab this. Put this, this, to this. Hello? Yes. It's that simple. Oh, shit. Yeah. I know y'all like them Jordans. Don't steal. I'm punching your mouth. News in NBA history. What the hell is that? Come on, man. I what the fuck? Yo, had more than a million dollars. How many shoes do y'all now? About 4,000 shoes. Shit. We gotta I need something to Shaq, drink. Because he designed one of the weirdest shoes Shaq his bald ass head. all time. The Shaq shoe phone. No, look at it. Right here, flash right here. Hold on. Flash. What up? <laughs> this man Shaq is dunking Eat. and dialing. That's crazy. But what's even crazier are LeBron shoes. LeBron. Cause he got a pair of sneakers that are worth a hundred thousand. See, in 2018, Bruh, LeBron reached a career milestone, scoring 30,000 points. And Nike wanted to congratulate him on his achievement, so they called up the shoe surgeon and created the craziest pair of shoes 30, LeBron had ever seen. I didn't uh, see 30,000 views. 24 karat gold. Within a month. 238 <laughs> diamonds over genuine crocodile skin. Crocodile and top shit. It off, a diamond encrusted lion pendant. All worth over 100 grand. Damn. These kicks are beautiful. But the shoe game isn't always this pretty. Because Michael Jordan's got a pair views. of sneakers. Shit, almost dude. got someone killed. Back in Sorry, I was looking away. I had, I was Jordan trying to put this on charge, but this shit did. The Nike damn, them back to the, the block. NBA I don't feel like plugging that shit up. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Air Jordan Views 11 or YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> fans saw these this shoes, bitch was walking on air. Their minds. Yo, so y'all see them shits right there, Brian? Never, 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 never had a pair of them. I had a pair of 11s, but not them exact. I had the red, white, and blue ones. But if I come through with them, with my swagger, man, they'll put me back in the 1942s, man, with this motherfucking... Black and white. I will black and white this whole era. I'll rock in them bitches. Man, I will. Uh, the blue, that's different. But that black and white. Oh, black and white pants. Black and white shirt. Black and white earrings. Black and white jacket. Glasses. Black and white earrings. Silver. Come on, man. Stop playing. It's amazing. So they at the stores <laughs> yeah. a few months later. They sold out immediately. And, and I got a video decade, uploading. They get it. became one of the most popular <laughs> pair of Jordans. My bad, my bad, ever. my bad, my bad. But in 2011, oh. fans took their love I'm to probably like, this man got so much energy. Yo, bro. Ain't shit without the entertainment, the damn energy. If you just sitting here, yep, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Oh, mm. you ain't shit. Too far, because when night you ain't shit, you gotta. I mean, you gotta do your thing. <laughs> right before Christmas, look good, but I ain't gonna lie, them bitches look like heads. a fine well, ass bitch, a cute ass female. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Somebody done bust their ass. Holy shit! Damn, boy, somebody. Damn, man, y'all stepping on niggas, man. Yeah, so me and had to submit. Talk, man. Me and somebody had to fucking fight, man. I'm sorry, bitch. Over some fucking shoes, you gonna step on me for some fucking shoes, bitch? You should have stepped on my damn shoes. Oh. See you, baby girl. All that. Over a pair of J's. Yeah, these I got fans a piece of fucking nuts. noodle on my so what the fuck I had a chip from. Because he designed the weirdest pair of <laughs> shoes <laughs> in NBA history. Getting hot in this motherfucker. I need a team. Better took his talents to China. A McGriddle or something, CBS. man. Shit. He's looking to pay his respects to the Chinese culture. Why the fuck so I thought that was big ass Shaq? Man, legal name fucking too. Shaq, man. Yeah, that's not Panda diesel. That's regular gas. But he also dropped a brand new signature sneaker like called Rest Panda's peace. Friend Shoes. What the fuck? Black or white. When equipped with his very own stuffed panda. Bruh, I can make. Man. What the fuck is this? Bruh. Yeah. I can make that shit. All I gotta do is put the bear over the. Put up. You know, for the tongue, depending on the shoe, like with them Jordans. Slip a little, you know, cut something, stick the tongue up in there. Boom, sit the ugly ass bear on top. 
They cut the bitch arms off and deep, you know, you know, you stick them bitches to the side. I mean, oh shit, what am I hitting? Threes with pandas on his feet. Yeah, pandas, that bitch got the pandas on his toes. Those are unbearable dogs. I mean, you wouldn't find them in my closet, but you might find them in PJ Tucker's, cause this dude has the biggest shoe collection. Don't look like somebody I used to work with. <laughs> over the years, PJ's been doing a little soul searching, collecting over five thousand pairs of sneakers. Five thousand. Five thousand, nigga. Never seen a pair of fucking five thousand shoes in my fucking life. Hell no, no. Even no. fit five thousand pairs of sneakers. Well, PJ I done maybe went through an entire room. I'm gonna say hundred to seventy five. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. I don't be just the store know, of sneakers. Man, hey, when, I, when I was growing up, I ain't really had kicks like that, man. I had shoes, but I mean, look, I I had kicks, but it was, you know. Not the ones that everybody wanted, you know what I mean? It was cool. K Swiss and shit. That bitch had K Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> K Swiss. There wasn't enough space in my house to be able to put all my shoes. So fuck is a K Swiss. I, you know, I gotta get a house. And this place is a shoe dude. What the fuck? His shits look way different than mine. Even I know it's the same. It's a different pair of shoe. You know the, the, the style. But his shit look like diamonds and shit. My shit look like that. Fuck. Stay down there, motherfucker, where you belong, on the floor. Because it's here that PJ stores the most valuable shoes in his entire collection. Like his Back to the Future Nike Max. Bru or his Stewie Griffin LeBron oh, my fucking chin hair. Bitch, I'm ready to cut it. This pair. Hate PJ's with my dready, stink ass dread. Diamond swoosh air This is always getting ones, cut, man. Stupid ass. Over Lana, look. Oh, yes, I like these. I would have to check these out. Oh, do, do, do you want them? If you don't want them, I would take them kindly. I would love to hoop in these. I will shoot a three, a two, and I will miss the one. <laughs> Jesus. A <quarter> mil <laughs> Yo, a I'm dead, man. Shoes. Giannis will probably dunk on my dumb ass if you ever see me making fun of him like that. Every time I fuck with Giannis, every time Giannis get a buck. Yes, I had to. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is that how you talk? I don't know These shit. I mean, I don't fucking know. I think. Wade, Wade fours. <laughs> huh? They're so valuable. They require arm security just to transport. Yeah, this thing's strapped with diamonds and sapphires. Set an 18 karat white gold. With a Bro, it looks so hard to believe, but that look, that's, so that's 2016, you. When they were put up for auction. They were valued at a ridiculous four million dollars. Man, go to hell. That price, your feet are looking pretty, but I can't say the same for this next pair. What the fuck? We gotta talk about the ugliest sneakers in NBA. But he better not. It better not be the pink shit. In 2001, shit. Adidas announced that the Kobe twos were coming out. The fans we got. were expecting That's piece, something man. iconic. I mean, That's we're talking about Kobe when the world finally saw these shoes. Ooh, look at the Kobe. Ripped their eyes out. God damn. He just dropped the toaster too. <laughs> what the hell is these? Hey. Hey, man, what the fuck? What the hell are those? And Kobe, well, he was disgusted. So after the 2002 season, man, with ain't like that. He ain't like that. I paid him eight million just to cancel his shoe deal and get out of his contract. Man, these shoes nah. were a disaster. What the well, fuck? It could have been a lot worse. Because wearing these shoes is considered cheating. Yeah. In 2010, right. Athletic Propulsions Lab was on a mission. They wanted to design a pair of basketball sneakers that would change the NBA forever. What? APL Concept Ones. And these shoes feature a special technology huh? called Load and Launch. What? Designed to increase a player's vertical jump. Yo. For three inches. Yeah. These things gave you hops. Huh? And all of a sudden, he had old heads at the rec center looking like Giannis. Yo! So they thought it was just a matter of time before the concept once took over the NBA. But instead, the league said no. Damn. Their shoes for, quote, giving players an unfair competitive advantage. Yeah. And you'd think this would have been a bad look for APL. But instead, it was a blessing in disguise. Because APL turned the ban into a full-blown marketing campaign. What? And the shoe's been popular ever since. Now look, the NBA might be worried about APLs, but what they really gotta worry about are Montrez Harrell's Bitch, I thought that was me. Hey, make sure y'all get a close-up on Montrez Harrell's shoes now. Montrez Harrell's different. You are a DR sports coat today. Look at them shoes. I wonder how much the coat cost. I've never seen nobody but a boxer wearing shoes. Bruh. Look at the his shoes. Mm, man's rocking the ballerinas. Bruh. That's fine. But they're not on Jason Tatum's level. Yeah, them bitches hard right there. Can tie themselves. Yeah, what the fuck? In 2019, Tatum collabed with Nike to promote the Hyper Adapt BB, 
the first self-tying basketball shoes in the world. On the app, you can see you could unlace it, tighten them up. Left, right. What? Left, right. And then you got all the different colors on the buttons right here. Oh, wow. Man, Give me that. shoes are ridiculous. But that's nothing compared to what we got coming up. Because one player's shoes almost ruined his career. While another shoe is edible. Yeah, I'll tell you guys all about that Bite it, second. bitch. Bite it. I dare you. we got to talk about our sponsor. DraftKings. DraftKings. Yeah, that's right. Looking to add a little spice to your NBA I'm season? Well, I'm teaming up with my boys at DraftKings. All right, come on, man. I'm sorry, bro. Already. Five dollar uh, pregame money line wager. Lines are not subject to change. And if your bet hits, you'll receive an additional one hundred and fifty dollars. What the? Three bets. That's a hundred and fifty bucks. Hold the fuck up. That's what I get. You know what? What is this? All right, we're gonna get to that after For the video. Free. Fuck he talk. Look, fuck that's that. Where the excitement fuck starts. that. DraftKings has a ton of ways to make watching sports more fun. Damn. Hey, man. All right, 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 all right. I get it. I got DraftKings. Shoes that you can literally eat. Yeah. In 2018, after Harden won the MVP award, Trolley, his favorite candy company, wanted to honor him. So they created a six pound, life size gummy version of Harden's volume two. What? Twos. Man, what I do to nibble on those toes. But it's Man. pretty tough, because there's only three pairs in existence. And they each cost $2,677. One buck for every point he scored. But if you think that's unusual, you haven't seen cat shoes because right. he has the creepiest Kenya sneaker shit. collection in the nba over the years carl's been taking his nike hyper dunks and putting a spooky twist on them, from his custom friday the 13th shoes to his stranger things sneakers and even his pair of grinch kicks yeah carl's shoe game is scary but people Kyrie texting me leave me alone is a little too scary see ever since 2011 look at that boy first Irvin. signed with nike Give it to her quick, it's coming from culture, Urban, past that bitch. Legendary colorways, to iconic collaborations. What? Kyrie's Don't shoes have become an empire. I mean, by 2016, his Kyrie 3s were the best-selling basketball shoes in the world. But then, just a year later, Kyrie dropped a pair of shoes that no one saw coming. The Kyrie 4 Confess. Ooh, oh. <laughs> and at first glance, these look like any other sneaker. Uh. But these shoes were hiding something Dark. What? I don't see shit. Back of the shoe. Oh no! Oh no! That motherfucker got the ah whip. What your boy? Pussy. Sight now. Chill, chill, chill. All right, bro. That bitch got the motherfucking mm -mm -mm. the triangle, motherfucker. The eye of providence. That bitch is not the eye of whatever you just said. We know what that is. AKA the eye. Of the Illuminati. He said it for me the second time. Y'all see this shit? Y'all see it? Man, I almost spit about five tons out my mouth. Y'all see this shit? This shit is crazy. That's why I'm scared to meet these celebrities. No cap. I, hey, hmm. Y'all know what the fuck y'all on that shit. Fuck around, have a eye, another eye somewhere watching me. Fuck no. Yeah. And it's not only freaking me out, but it's freaking fans out too. Ugh, this thing is Come cursed. On. And Come so on. are Zion shoes. Don't wear them shit. pair of sneakers. What the fuck? Ruined Zion. They throw that shit right in your face. What the fuck is that? Leave me alone. They throw that shit right in your face, bro, and that's wicked. Career. On February 20th. Look at Zion, the biggest, fattest motherfucker Zion in the damn Nike league. Nike PG I ain't mean to say it like that, chill. Y'all know what I'm saying. Time college game against North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, look at my mouth. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, I'm up in this bitch. Oh, I'm going to run for president again in a couple years. So I'm, I just hope y'all ready for the new phones that I got. You know what I mean? They, um, LGs. I got iPhones. I got Apple Watches. I got all that for you. You know, you know have a good day. I'll pull up next year. And celebrities in attendance. People are expecting to watch Lord, Lord. dominate. Good impressions, man. Good impressions. crazy happened. Oh, shit. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck? Usually that's the North Carolina Target. What? And injured is Zion Williamson. I mean, his his shoe blew apart. Zion's shoe oh. literally exploded. I mean, damn, that could have destroyed That's the man's a foot. But basketball career. But thankfully, Zion was okay. And it turns out this incident was such a big moment that these shoes are now worth a fortune. What would be the upper range that you could see this thing going for at auction? 
You know, I've seen NBA one on one game All Star jerseys go for 180,000. It would not surprise me if it topped 250,000. A quarter mil for some busted PG. Bitch. That's crazy. And speaking of Fuck crazy, no. you gotta mention hell? Kanye West. Hey, everybody look up Sean 2 Supreme on YouTube. Share it, you know, put this video on your clipboards and just spam his comments with this video and tell him skip to 1122. This is him. This motherfucker. Kanye. Sean, Sean 2 Supreme. Go look him up. A pair of basketball shoes that got Yeez. banned. Back in 2015, look at Kanye. He designed the craziest basketball shoe. He's na 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 na. Yeah. He had ever seen. So over the course of three years, he designed more than 300 concept sneakers. He said, I was flying. Now I'm crashing. 2018. This is bad, real bad, Michael Jackson. The easy basketball quantums. Now I'm mad, real mad, Joe Jackson. Hey. So the fuck is them? Look at Slinky dude. He look like a me. damn fucking Slinky. Tall me nah, today. man. Them bitches look like triangles, bro. And y'all know what the fucking triangles is, man. Like, come on. The side of that whole fucking shoe and the whole shoe. Illuminati. I ain't gonna just say it like that because y'all better not spaz on me in the comments because I'm gonna spaz back. I don't give a fuck if I'm right or wrong. Don't spaz on me. Correct me nicely. What the fuck? That triangle shit, like, bruh. He know what he doing. That Adi that his shit, his shoes was Kanye shoes was satanic, um, Illuminati ish, whatever you call it. Yeah, I believe so. Kanye's dreams they said the that brand, yes, sir. They shoes for being too reflective. Now Kanye might have a few screws loose, but he's not the only him. one. Cause we gotta talk about the craziest designer. And sneaker history, Lavar Ball. Lavar Ma. Oh shit, Lavar, you three. mother sucker! In 2017, as his kids were being talked about as future NBA is. stars, he wanted to capitalize Them on all boys. the hype. Nice. So he decided to create his very own sneaker company called <laughs> the Big Baller Brand. BBB. Oh with the sons God, out of sight, Lavar was ready to take BBB to the moon. Look at them boys, man! I remember when they was coming up. Ah. Sneakers for the whole family. D'Angelo got the Jello 3s, Lonzo got the Zo 2s, mm. Lamelo got the MB 1s. No, One, two, three. Even Lavar got his own shoe. On the surface, it seemed like BBB was kicking the competition's ass. What? But in 2018, how the they fuck got do you, man? into some trouble That's for another video. with another BBB, BBB. The Better Business Bureau. Oh. After receiving hundreds of complaints from customers talking knows. about late nah. orders, bad customer service, oh. and poor quality of shoes, oh. Big Baller Brand was officially given an F as their company grade, and it's been down ever since. Man, I'm glad I'm Ball not in our shoes, but I'm even Did happier even I'm not in I'm John Morant. Morant. There, there he is, shoes. Morant. A worldwide controversy. See, during the 2022 playoffs, what happened? Ja was hooping in one of his favorite pairs of kicks, his Kobe 4 preludes, when fans noticed something strange. Ja's shoes didn't look like ordinary Kobe. What? Bitch is hard, though. Kobe's. The tongue was too short, the heel pattern was off, and the Nike swoosh just wasn't the right color. Yeah, they were fake. Boy, I knew it. Fake. I was, you seen it, boy? I said, boy. I was gonna say fake right before he said it. Damn, Morant. Wondering why is a millionaire NBA player wear knockoff Nikes? Well, just a few days later, it all became clear when Nike announced that they were suing StockX, one of the largest online shoe stores, fake Nike, selling fake Nikes. Yeah. Bitch, I'm glad I don't order off of there more. Hey, no more. I don't give a fuck what they. Hey, any site that sell fake shit, I don't want the shit. I'm not buying shit. Ja bought fake I tell Kobe's, you. and he didn't even know it. But what's even crazier okay. are Michael Jordan shoes. Michael Jordan! MJ's got a pair <laughs> of sneakers okay, that cut her out of this world. Back in 1995, Jordan filmed one of the most iconic movies of all Bruh, time. what the fuck? Space Jam. And while the movie itself is a classic, it's the shoes he wore during the film that really stole the show. Because after filming Wrapped, MJ gave this pair of Jordan 11s to one of the crew members. And years later, those shoes ended up on an episode of Pawn Stars. What? Where they were revealed to be one of the most valuable pairs of shoes. That motherfucker. Girl. Yo, I'm going to tell y'all this right now. I ain't never seen that Space Jam. I never watched Michael Jordan Space Jam. I know I didn't. I, yep, I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I ain't sorry. Shit, I just didn't. I watched LeBron's though. 
when he hit that. Yeah, that's the. So <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that's what I seen, mother sucker. The fact that Space Jam is the highest. Got a video uploaded. Ooh. The Last Dance that did come out, which made all of Michael Jordan's memorabilia. Jaiko Morden. Look at him. He looked like Stone Cold's dad. I can see these selling for upwards of a million dollars. One million. Oh, them bitches do look. Selling for upwards. But I don't give a fuck. Look, bitch. Jordans. <laughs> yeah, Jordans. They look like I would have, you'd have hate somebody had them for a little while, but. That's $100,000 per toe. God damn. It can't get any crazier than that, right? Well, believe it or not, there's one more pair that. Bro, I would throw them bitches on in a heartbeat and I would just try to. pair of Jordans. Got my Jordans. This motherfucker got something like my Jordans. This motherfucker got something like my Jordans. <laughs> in existence, these are the original. Ooh. Nike airships and these shoes are historic as in 1984 when Jordan was just a rookie He wore these sneakers in his first few NBA games making them the oldest known Michael Jordan game worn Nike yo and with shoes that iconic sneaker has Bruh, shit yo look I'm gonna say this right now I don't use this word but shit is awesome I ain't even gonna catch this shit is awesome bruh like history bruh anything to cop this pair. don't let so me in 2021 they were put up for auction they became the most valuable pair of jordans on the planet selling for an insane 1.47 million <laughs> god damn that's a whole lot of dollar for some shoes jesus yes but believe it or not there he is. nba players are blowing even more money than that i mean james harden spent a million dollars in one night and alan iverson he kept spending money till he went broke look if you want to hear more then you need to click on this video here toots Already seen yeah, that motherfucker. Tootsie but tootsie. anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna start calling you guys. You guys are toots now. Toots What's going on? Toot. That's why I stopped your video. <laughs> I fought with you rebound, but uh make sure y'all um peep that uh first link in the description, man. You know what I mean, get your thirty dollars. This was a good video, man. History is awesome to be. I don't know about y'all. I don't use that word a lot. That's coming from me. I don't. I'd have said this shit's fucking tough. That's what the fuck I would have said. I'ma holler at y'all got more juice on the way.